So let's take a look at that. Thanksgiving is a time for food, family, and the inevitable fights. An iVillage web survey found 68% of women are expecting a turkey day fight. It's so bad, one in 10 actually say they're dreading the holiday. The issue is most likely to start all the bickering is money, the food, the host is complaining she's doing everything, people who drink in too much boredom. But family dysfunction shouldn't dampen your holiday spirit, oh no. You can prepare yourself to make Thanksgiving run smoothly. Joining me now is Teresa Moore Griffin, a personal development coach. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks. Oh, it is that time of year, isn't it? Where it's we a great like time all of that year. family drama. How do we get past it? Well, I think we have a number of things we can do. For one thing, it's helpful to decide in advance of, you know, going to the dinner mm -hmm. or if you're hosting in advance of hosting the event to um, make a conscious choice about how you want the event to be so that you don't just stumble into old patterns, but you literally make a decision about whether or not this is a time when you're going to focus on um, having a time that's more peaceful. I feel like you're congenial. talking about my family here. I mean, you know, a lot of <laughs> us, we have the unresolved issues, and a lot of people during the holidays want to bring up the unresolved issues. Mm -hmm. What do you do? How do you get past that? I think the time to bring those up is not during the holiday dinner, but to do that separately and privately, and to let the holiday dinner really be a time of peace, where people are com coming together and really enjoying each other and not engaging in the usual fights. Okay, so let's say we have an Aunt Juicy out there and she suddenly brings up something. How do we approach that? Well, I think we can say to her, you know, Aunt Juicy, today is <laughs> not the day. Could you please hold that for another conversation? Um, sometimes family members won't let go and mm -hmm. they continue to raise issues. And in that case, I think it's very helpful to just have your own strategy for walking away, leaving the room, uh, or privately saying to them, you know, this is not something I want to talk about now. And draw a boundary, make a very clear line about what you're willing to engage in discussing. What about dealing with divorced parents who are meeting up for the kids' sake? Uh, I came from one of those families, mm, so I, I have a well. lot of experience around that. And frankly, um, as an adult, I was able to invite both my parents to my home, and I would tell them in advance who was going to be there if one was bringing someone else to make that clear as well, so there were no surprises ever. What about if you want to be a peacekeeper? I'm, I'm the peacekeeper in my family, and if certainly if there's conflict, I want to inject myself into the conversation. Do we have to step back and say, wait a minute, I'm not, I'm not going to do that? You know, one of the great uh, things to do, I think, is to disengage from regular patterns, especially the ones that elevate your stress and seem to not do anything to mitigate the situation. And often we inject ourselves into the conversation of others when actually we're not invited. It's just our own mm -hmm. discomfort. So I'd say live with your discomfort. Yeah. a little bit and let the folks who are having their disagreements have them well, if that's what, what they're choosing to do. Good advice, trying let to avoid that drama during peace. the holiday. Eat, Absolutely. make peace, and move on. Teresa Moore Griffin, thanks for coming and good to see you. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving.